If the child does that in the supermarket, you must leave immediately. You'll want to, because it's very embarrassing. And so this is what I said to one mother. I said, just leave the supermarket. She said, but my trolley's half full. I said, you haven't paid for it, doesn't matter. And take the child and say, we're going. But the child throws himself on the ground. And so you give the child the opportunity to get up, but they don't. So you just drag them. And people will be looking at you, smile. Just smile and say, he likes being dragged. It's his favorite way to move along. As long as you're smiling, if you're angry, then, you know, the, and then you get outside to the gutter and you give them an opportunity to get up. Would you like to get an upper walk now? No! Okay. And you hold them by the wrist and you pull them. If they resist, it hurts them. Make the wrist strong. But if they come with you, you relax the wrist. It's very much like the horse with the bit in its mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you get into the car and you strap them into their car and then you go home. And then you take them out of the car and you go inside and you say, sweetheart, that wasn't very good, was it? You didn't like it, I didn't like it. So you're not gonna come shopping with me next time because I never want that to happen again. You see, they're feeling bad now. They're feeling a little bit guilty. So there's no need to say much more. Just say that that's not going to happen again. So maybe the next day you have to go back and shop and you arrange for him to be minded. And, uh, and then you'll say, because the next day he'll say, I'm so sorry, Mum, can I come? Maybe next time, but not this time because of what, what you just did. And then you go and you come back and then a week later you say, I'm going shopping t today. And the child looks at you and you say, you can come, but if you put on a performance like you did last time, um, we will again leave immediately and you will not come with me again till you can prove to me that you're big enough to be able to behave well. Can you see that? You're not putting the child down. Because you put a child down, you never get anywhere. God doesn't do that to us. He just says, come unto me. But there's clear lines. There's clear lines. If the child does...